Hi, so I've got Carl Hudson, the founder at Searcheroo, and today's video is about how to check whether your site has been penalized by Google. So getting straight into this, the first thing you'll get is you, you should, if you're um, the owner on Webmaster uh, Search Console, Webmaster Tools, you'll get an email um, from them, and that's typically anywhere up to 72 hours prior to this penalty being there. Um, a lot of people get it, then they log into um, Webmasters to check, and they're like, oh, I don't have it. But actually, if you... so there's two ways you check this. So you log into Webmasters, you, on the left-hand side, Bart will say security and manual actions. You scroll down to manual actions. If you don't see the penalty there, but you've received the email, if you then click view related messages, you'll probably see the email message inside there. It's what a lot of people don't actually check. But if you click that and you see the message, it was definitely sent from Search Console. Um, and then usually it's a case of waiting up to 72 hours from that point, and you should see the manual action appear. I believe, Dooley, you, you've experienced this yourself. Um, yeah, that's all. I mean, we get quite a lot of people coming through to us um, wanting help with um, manual action penalties. So these like unnatural link penalties um, has been a Google penalty that comes up in the manual action of Google Search Console. Um, you've got transparency penalties, which is mainly on like Google News related sites, like author transparency and stuff like that. Um, you've got the pure spam penalty, which has started to come out um, for a lot of people, mainly like SEO influencers that are trying to kind of promote mass um mass du duplication of content and um, AI content and uh, parasite SEO hacking websites and height the SEO heist to nick people's kind of keywords and stuff like that um, and those SEO influencers are getting like a pure spam penalty um, and then you've got the thin content penalty as well so obviously Google are coming out not wanting to waste a lot of money on websites that are generating mass produced content that have got little to no value for the user. Um, so they're all, they all get shown up in Google search console. And that's generally how you can see whether a site has been hit via a penalty. There's certain other things with, if you don't have Google search console, just by literally um, searching like site semicolon, the domain name, and it might only show 10, 10 results and all the rest of them have been filtered out or you physically search for your domain name, if that's not showing up, that's a good telltale sign that you've, you've, you've got some sort of penalty. That's if you've not got Google Search Console set up. Um, obviously, rankings and traffic will drop to almost nothing. Um, you'll be filtered out all of the SERPs until you try to fix the manual action penalty of what they've done. Yeah, and that's also worthwhile noting that if you don't have Search Console, you can very quickly sign up for it. You don't necessarily need to have Search Console to receive a penalty. If you sign up within, I believe it's about 48 hours, the penalty should come through because it takes a little time to connect the, the, the site to the Search Console. Um, so again, if you don't have Google Search Console, but you are seeing that effect in the SERP, then don't be scared to sign up for Search Console and obviously you'll hopefully see the manual action. Yeah, for sure. I mean, so if you are watching this video and you was wanting to check whether you have been penalized or not, if you have been penalized and you can see that there is an issue in, in the manual actions, leave a comment in the co comment section. Let us know what type of Google penalty that you've had hit through. Um, are you, are you going to file yourself for a reconsideration request? Do you know the next steps? What I would say is that if you're wanting to rank in Google, you've got to play by Google rules. If Google are telling you that you've got mass spam backlinks that you need to sort out, you need to disavow them. You need to book up and make certain that you're doing what Google wants you to do. There's no point in fighting against what they're saying. They, they generally are trying to provide, as much as the SEO community try to argue with this, but they're genuinely trying to provide the best results for the user. So if they're seeing that you've got thin content or they can't see who's written it and you've got an offer transparency problem, sort those problems out. And then obviously if you do the reconsideration request, they will revoke it. We're revoking many penalties for clients for many different reasons. But normally the penalty is what I would say that Google are, are handing out when you go to check to see whether you have been penalized. There's a reason for it. 
Now, go and sort out, go and delete the pages that aren't adding much value, that are thin content, or rewrite it to make certain that there is some added value for Google moving forward. 